Hey what's going on guys? In this video I want to talk about ancient oppression. In this current patch, the current patch I'm having is 7.28B. In 7.28B this is the highest win rate support hero or mid hero even as you can say. Like it's in top 3 uh, or something. Third position. Uh, first one is Wraith King. Second one is uh, currently Ricky I guess. Third or fourth is this hero. The reason is um, I don't know what change they have made because I never played this one before this patch but this patch this one is like the win rate gone exponentially high this became like top within top 10 like uh, in all ranked all ranked matches this is like almost like third third or fourth in win rate now let's look at the abilities he has level to max now the first one is cold feet cold feet is basically let's create an enemy hero to see it clearly okay and i am gonna max the enemy hero um enemies level up enemy to max okay now i'm gonna put some heart for him okay now the first ability is cold feet so when you cast this ability and if this hero stays within the radius from the cast you know how does it work is if you cast this one and if around the radius at the casting point you know if the hero stays like this it's gonna just freeze for a few minutes now let's read the ability places a frozen hex on an enemy unit that deals damage over time but can be dispelled by moving away from the initiation cast point if the enemy unit doesn't move outside of the given range, it will be stunned and frozen in place after a four seconds. So you can see if the enemy just stay after you cast the first point, for first uh, spell, he's gonna just freeze and stun. That's the thing. But if you if the hero just ran away or blinked away or do something to get away, um he can get away from this spell that's why some of the heroes are counter for an ancient oppression like the heroes that can run fast like weaver or wind ranger or the heroes that can blink like uh, anti match ricky or the heroes that can go like long distance like storm spirit uh, ember spirit those kind of heroes are counters for this ancient present because uh, they can counter him easily by just escaping those uh, escaping this power and the big counter for ancient oppression uh, now or before also the heroes that build necromanican if lycan come in your oppor opponent team uh, you are done because you cannot escape lycan or the another hero that built necromanican is uh, Beastmaster. Beastmaster also deadly. anti major also deadly. You know, those kind of heroes are biggest counter for uh, Ancient Oppression. And Ancient Oppression counters some of the heroes. Like, Ancient Oppression counters the hero that depends on region. Example, Husker. Husker will get, because you know, the Husker's strength is, when he has the lowest health, he has higher region. So his strength is in the lowest health. So we know that like the ancient uh, uh, present ultimate work exactly like this item, this uh, spirit vessel. Spirit vessel, if you cast on a hero, enemy hero, that hero cannot heal or do anything. The same goes to ancient, but ancient present ulti much deadlier than that because if it cast on enemy hero, they cannot heal at the same time. If it maxed out, I think, if the enemy hero's health falls below 40 percentage, they will die instantly. They cannot escape. Like, uh, let's say the axe uh, health is 7000. Now, 50 percentage is like 3500. Let's say around 2800. If the axe, is, axe was 2800 health and he casted this ice blast, he die instantly. He cannot escape any, by anything, you know. Uh, he can uh, even in fountain he can he will die because nothing will heal him 
that's the power this is uh, this is counter for like tank heroes even uh, huskar morphling morphling also depends on changing the health into like strength agility you know switching strength agility so when he switch his health percentage ball fall below if he cast on that cast he is going to die instantly that's why if there's a mid morphling mid and you know the, you can play instant represent mid as well if they go together you will defeat morphling very easily than any other hero because your spells counter him real well the next thing is uh, next counter necrophos you can counter necrophos as well the thing is uh, necrophos depends on health region the ability that will serve him a lot but this will prevent his ultimate prevent him from doing like it completely stops him doing that that's another thing and underlord hit counts as underlord monkey king chen dragon knight bristol back slark uh, meepo those kind of heroes he can counter very easily instant present can counter very easily and the thing is okay now we have seen the first spell the second spell actually if you cast on certain place and after if the enemy heroes are there then it will increase the magic damage taken by the enemy hero it goes from 12, the first one is 21 percentage second one is 26 percentage third one is 31 percentage fourth one is 36 percent and also it adds slow in that particular place so, you know uh, if uh, if you like um, if enemy heroes there they will be slowed in that radius you know and the chilling touch this is amazing spell if you're playing support and also mid hero uh, the reason is you can right click and leave it like this and it's it's gonna harass the hell out of enemy in lane you know it will actually throw them out of the lane by casting this spell only the problem you're gonna have face is in the early game maybe because after a certain point you're gonna increase the intelligence but in the early game you're gonna have a lot of mana problem but if you just keep on buying uh, this one clarity and keep harassing the enemy with this if you just cast this and put the first spell they're gonna be stunned and they cannot run faster as well because this one also slow so it actually just destroy the open and like uh, you can easily harass the enemy out of the lane that's one of the best thing playing support as him and its range also really high and we have already seen the ultimate it actually stops you from health region now let's read it fully launches launches uh, tracer toward any location on the battlefield you can just cast this any point in the map it goes from one end to other so you can cast any any point in the map which must be triggered again to may mark the area to be blasted by damaging explosion of hail the further the tracer travels the larger the explosion will be enemies caught in the explosion yeah the, the longer it travels it becomes big or who touch the icy balls of the hail as it travels are frostbitten taking damage and prevented from regenerating or healing if frostbitten units health drops below a certain percentage they will intense uh, in, they will instantly shatter okay now okay now actually it's uh shatter health threshold it says 16 percentage 17 percentage 18 percentage okay it's not 40 percentage anymore but still still it's deadly power for some reason this hero is number one now like in the top position and uh, if you ask uh, you if you if you put uh, if you buy again scepter this one doesn't have a cooldown oh my god so you will just okay now let's see what happened to the age i'm gonna buy a bunch of mana region i think this one is much better and also i'm gonna buy this mana region mana region this one is like 
six mana region okay now let's buy an agonim scepter free spells okay oh no okay now let's buy agonim scepter now no cooldown for this spell means you can just every attack of yours is this that will be deadly you can see why it's deadly no cooldown your every attack is that that's deadly and uh, the new thing aganim shot basically causes ice wave 40 dps and reduce the attack speed by 50 okay that that's crazy okay if you put this one it in, it also decreases the attack speed of the enemy hero that's something and the best items you can build is basically um, you got to have yule or yule or this one uh, what is that rotafetos the reason is i tell you the reason okay let's say oh god okay i'm gonna max the enemy hero level to max by full of hearts okay now why evils is good let's see now what you can do is you cast the first spell and cast this one now he cannot run and he will get frost you know and why the rotafet was also a good item because the same reason goes like you cast this spell and you put this one he cannot run and he get frozen because in order to get away with this uh, first spell he had to he has to get away from certain radius so if you have one of these two items yeah, they cannot get away so they get froze that's the reason this uh these two items are really good if you have one of them is good but if you have both it's gonna be really good i think i never tried buying both but i think it will be good because you can use both of items in some point mm, okay those kind of items then uh magnum scepter is good you can also buy a veil of discord to avoid the mana region problem in the early game you can buy this one ring of faceless to avoid mana region problem like you're gonna have a lot of mana problems because all of your spells are casting spells using mana uh, so you need something for mana and first stuff is going to be good against certain heroes like if you if your enemy team has ricky or uh, what is that clockwork or some of the heroes you want to execute uh, like uh, what is that nix nix or not nix niax he if he slows you can first stuff out of your out of your team and also you can think about building guardian graves or you can go for this one as well tranquil birds the reason guardian graves is good is it gives mana region specially health region is not important but mana regions uh, means something to this hero like mana restoration but this one also good if you're playing the triangle birds because you can run faster catch enemies uh, do because since you're playing support you're going to travel around a lot so this one is b much better than that but the thing is uh, you have to find a way to you know avoid your mana problem if you're buying this make sure you buy some clarities until you get a uh, get an item that gives you mana so it's better to build eul first than rotafetos because eul gives you mana regeneration but rotafetos don't as much as eul it has intelligence but this one has some mana regeneration intelligence mean it it kind of mana regeneration but it's not as much as this 
you know so it's better to buy this one first than this mm, and if you want extra damage you want to make extra damage you can buy yasa and kaya uh, because it gives you movement speed as well at the same time spell amplification still uh, lifestyle amplication and 30 percentage mana region amplification wow this one is really good but if you're playing mid uh, you definitely have to buy this but if you're playing as a support you're gonna have to buy some support item but if you're going late game uh, you can buy this then uh, best neutral items i found out from dot above uh, the highest win rate neutral item is one of them is uh, book of debt i think the reason behind is it gives you strength and intelligence it's really good on this hero and then storm crafter that's because the mana regeneration and oh it has a slow 20 200 damage Mm. passive it uh, it has 200 damage and 40 percentage slow so it's going to be deadly with this hero and the third one is uh, trickster clock that's 20 percentage magic resistant 20 percentage evasion and ninja gear fourth one fifth one is telescope sixth one is timeless relic seventh one is spell prism Eighth one is ceremonial rope. Oh, what is this? Lowest enemy status resistance by 10%, magic resistance by 10%. Wow. And then enchanted cure is really good. Apply 300 bonus damage match and attack range. 400 attack range. Meteor Homer. So you can see this hero is some of the items like the cast range also good and attack range also good. It's only work for some heroes like him because he has spells to cast also attacks chilling touch attack and then a minotaur horn leveler flicker that's the highest spin rate item neutral item for this hero and that's all in this video i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching see you guys on my next video